Hi everybody, I hope you're doing fine. Today uh, we'll look at a model that uh, Michael Jensen suggested to me. It's the uh, companion cube from Portal. Uh, we should have fun printing that. Let's do it. <laughs> So the first way we can print this is with supports and I have the example here the sides look look good the top also but since this is a little bit rounded and we need support underneath that's what it looks like so it's not it's not good you can you know use it on a desk like this and it's okay but can we improve this let's try okay so mesh mixer again and we load the weighted cube into mesh mixer if you see this all rounded you go into preference and then you choose face normals And then you have a nice square cube, like it's going to be when printed. So you zoom in and we began to select the round heart in the middle on all four sides. So we choose a brush, a select tool and a brush not too big so that we can select the edge and not the rest of the cube then we move to a bigger brush and we select everything uh, all around so you do this on all of the four sides let's speed up the video a bit and see what it looks like And here I make sure I deselect the faces that was on the cube and I reselect only the edge. Because I selected a bit much with the bigger brush. So I, I make sure that I only select the edges and not the rest of the cube. Okay, now that all of the arts are selected, we are going to do an edit, erase and fill, and use a flat remeshed. And look if everything looks good. If it's not, you're going to notice that the sides won't be flat. But in this case, I selected only the art and the edge of it. So we can accept this and we can now use the edit plain cut tool to cut the cube in half because we have deleted all of the arts around the cube we can now cut it in half and export the results so the top and then you do undo select the bottom part and export the bottom part also and now we reload the cube do a select again and select only the art this time so you only select the art watch out for the edges again zoom in and make sure you selected only the art so 
I use a smaller brush and then with shift I delete and reselect only the heart. Okay, now that the only one art is selected, we are going to use the edit and separate the shells. So it's going to bring you the object browser and if you deselect the first one, oh, I made a mistake here. I'm missing a small piece, so I undo and go back and select the missing pieces. And since my menu is, has disappeared, I reselected it and then undo again. And it gives me back my selection. And then do the separate shell again and deselect the first object with the small i. So you are left only with the heart and you do an analysis inspector and you fill with the auto repair all flat fill so it's gonna do a flat bottom that's what we need a coin like part of the art only and you also export that part let's name it heart okay let's go into cura and load the full cube Scale it to 75 millimeters. That's it. I'm going to include the settings that I use in the description of this video, but it's standard 0 0.175, 1.6 millimeters of walls, 10% of infill, which looks good. And then the temperature for my PLA, speed 50, uh, cooling always enabled in the Monoprice Mini. And then generate support at 70 degrees. That's one of the things that I've changed so that it looks good. Not too much support, a little under the arts you see here. And I use a roof for the base. So it's going to print a support roof before printing the the bottom part and then send this to the monoprice mini printer with octoprint and since you already have seen the results let's look at that and we'll go back into cura this time we will load the top part of our cube and scale it again to 75 millimeters either x or y and then take note of the percentage of scaling here remember that or copy it and that's it no support needed you see there is no support it's the same setting as before in cura but now that we have only half of the cube we don't need support anymore so we will print this and we can print two of those instead of the top and bottom because they are the same. And then we load the hard part and we need to scale it to the same as the cube. So I paste here the percentage that I copied from the cube, select the art and rotate it. 90 degrees multiply it because we need four so three more and let's go and print this and look at the results so as we did before we are going to use crazy glue CA glue don't need much
So this is the finished cube. So all sides seems good. The top looks nice. And the bottom looks as nice. So everywhere. So every side is Even the cat loves it. Robin, she loves it. <laughs> so let's compare the two. The two, both are fine everywhere, except the bottom. So that's it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. And as usual, please comment below. Give me your suggestions for future print that I can maybe improve or not. We'll see. I will do my best and uh, please subscribe, push that little bell if you want to be notified of video coming from me and see you in the next video. Ciao, bye!